what if, what if, what if? Right, guys welcome back to another video it's your man jay so today we're gonna to be talking about why your truck is delayed if you ordered a 22 or a 23 sierra and then also man what is up with the price increases i'm gonna go ahead and, and talk about the price increases and show them to you they are a lot folks they're between four hundred and four thousand dollars uh and my 23 sierra that's coming in uh it got a huge price increase uh, but it's pretty impressive that they keep increasing. This is the third or fourth increase uh, in in the Sierra lineup in 2022. I know because I got my 2022 kind of in t almost towards the beginning is when it was built in May. Uh, so, so the middle of middle of 2022 is when I think I took delivery of mine, uh, the beginning of June or something like that. Uh, and the the starting price for mine was only about 53 or something like that. After I bought my 2022 Sierra, um, and we're also going to talk about options too, because there's a lot of options that are not available uh, for the 2023 because of the shortage. But my 2022 out the door with the options were about 60 grand or so. Now I've been taking you through the process of me getting my new truck. I've got like 10 or 11 videos out on that. I'll try to remember to link them all below so you can catch up if you haven't been following that series. Uh, but it's pretty crazy that the the Sierra lineup is it's GM's bread and butter. So you know they're going to continue to do things to try to bring revenue because see a lot of people probably don't want to pay for that fifteen hundred dollars. And there's a lot of people out there that are like me. You got to refresh and you didn't have to do it. So, but now my new twenty three is coming in. It is mandatory on the ticket. I can see that it's there. Uh, and um, but the difference with mine is mine is a little different. So I'm not paying retail like a lot of people. Um, I'm getting my truck uh, was just around 70 with the options because mine actually got hit from 20 from this from June. Me getting my 22 to my truck getting built in 20 in, in, in November and in like November 14th or the 21st or something like that. Somewhere around that week is when my truck got built and finished really fast. Within four days, they tr had my truck built pretty much. But my truck, the 23, so I guess it had already started. So the MSRP on my paperwork still shows roughly right at almost 70 because he sent me the information on my specific truck. Now, since then, in December, it just got another price hike. So let me, I, I got to stop and show you these, these prices on the new vehicles. And then we'll talk about options and what's missing and probably why your truck is still delayed. If you've been waiting over a year and you put in an order for a 2022, because they're, they're pretty much just going to roll you over to 2023, uh, I believe. Uh, and then, um, but let me show you these new prices for the Sierra for the 2023. Take a look at this. So it appears that the trucks are now increased heavily. Uh, as you can see here, the the trucks start off at 38 now. That's just incredible, and I'm just shocked that the lowest price costs $38,000, basically 39 grand. Uh, the Sierra is always it's always been their um, truck of uh, like just giving them the most sales. The 1500 or just the Sierra in general has been giving them the most sales, uh, and it's kind of surprising that already this is the third or fourth increase uh, for people wanting to buy the Sierra. So for me, the interest lies way down here at my truck. So I have an elevation crew cab short box uh, five, uh, excuse me, 5.3 that my 23 is, and it's a short box crew cab um, 5.3 liter with the 10 speed autom uh, automatic transmission. It now starts at just under 62 grand. That's freaking incredible because the invoice for mine, uh, and I, I'm, this is just MSRP folks. This is plus destination charge. So this is fairly expensive, man. The trucks are getting between a $400 and $4,000 increase. So my 23 Sierra elevation with this option right here, four wheel drive, where does it go? Uh, up here, mine um, started at 58, I think, I believe it was. And now my truck starts at uh, the 23 that I have coming in in the next week or so, the 5.3 liter four wheel drive, 
uh, with the 10 speed just like this now starts to just under 62 grand so for this truck right here that I got it started at 58 so it got one of the bigger updates uh, uh, increases plus destination charge that's incredible folks uh, my truck started at 57.9 or something like that plus the, the destination charge is 17.95 this is really sad that they're getting these uh, price increases uh, so quickly this is the third or fourth one in 2022 uh, and I know because I bought my 2022 uh, and it was a very low price and I didn't have any of these uh, I didn't I didn't have the mandatory $1,500 that you have to pay now uh, for the three-year OnStar services because what they're doing is they're increasing the prices and then making you pay for to, to use the vehicle these refreshed vehicles are essentially not no good without the in, without the internet access but it's kind of sad I mean look at some of these these prices on these trucks the Denali uh, just is uh, got a pretty decent uh, increase here man there's Denali's out there selling uh, with at this price right now with tons of options you can go out there and see them uh, and so this is pretty much incredible uh, that they have increased the price of this truck so much man I'm, I'm just blown away uh, that this price increase is this much now that is crazy, right? The increase is between four hundred and four thousand dollars, depending on the vehicle. Now, as you can see, my vehicle now starts at sixty-one thousand two hundred and ninety dollars. The vehicle that I have on order, that's coming in now, that's already completed and built, now starts at sixty-one thousand two hundred dollars and ninety two hundred uh, sixty-one thousand one hundred and or two hundred ninety dollars, something around those things. You saw it, but the current truck that I have built with a load of options is coming in at around 68 or so. Uh, and I think that some options on the truck um, are missing on probably on my build. Um, now some things that I knew I didn't get because they were back ordered. Here's, let's talk about why your truck is probably delayed if you in fact did pick up a 23 model. So you probably didn't get hit with the price increase. I don't think they'll do that to you, but if they do, you have the option to not even purchase it. You'll get your money back. If you put it on a deposit, if you paid full cost, they'll probably give you your money back. Um, but some of you guys might be waiting because lots of parts are are not available. There are several parts, something down, something as simple as the, the steering column lock, wireless charging was halted. I don't know if you guys knew this, but wireless charging was halted up until November 21st. Now, that's why I'm curious if my truck is gonna have wireless charging because I saw what the bill sheet said and then I saw the invoice, the new invoice that I got coming in and it's a little bit different. So that means that there are some options probably missing from my truck. And what they do is they give you a credit for it. So locking uh, steering wheel column, people are getting a credit for that. Uh, wireless charging is now available again as of November 21st. But remember my truck got finished around the 14th to the 21st. So I don't know if they put it in there, but they they were giving a credit for that because it wasn't available because of the shortage. Um, those are those are some reasons why your truck might might have gotten a little bit of a delay but one of the main delays people probably got hit with is the multi-flex tailgate now my current 22 obviously there was no delays with that uh and so it got the multi-flex flex tailgate the problem is the 23s now um they got hit in a time frame where there is no multi-flex tailgates for the chevy silverado or the gmc sierras any of the gmc's or chevy's with multiflex tailgate, they're being eliminated. And the problem that I see online is people are now selling their multiflex tailgates for four grand, folks. I've seen people selling their multiflex tailgates for four thousand dollars online, saying that it's new. It's a new takeoff. I'm like, wow, they are making a killing. Um I thought about um what parts are missing from mine, but mine is finished already, and I already knew going in that the multiflex tailgate was back ordered. And so the plan that I had in motion, depending on how this color matches up, I was going to ask them to take my multiflex tailgate off and put it on my new truck. I was just going to ask them, period. There's nothing wrong with me asking. And I'm still going to do that uh, depending on how the color matches up. So I have volcanic red tin coat. That's the new color for 23. And my current version is 
um, cayenne, cayenne red tint coat, which is the 2022 color naming. But I'm told that it is a little different. I'm told by the dealer that it's a little bit deeper on the new truck. Um, and it's a little different, so I don't know how that'll work. Maybe I can get a paint match or something like that, have them spray it afterwards. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with that. That's just me talking right now, trying to figure out my options. But for you people out there, I saw some searches online where trucks, GM is now holding people's trucks. Almost 100,000 or more trucks are just being held. They're completed, but they're sitting in a lot because there are certain parts that are missing, i.e. the multi-flex tailgate for these people that decide that they really want to wait. Uh, and the, the locking uh, steering wheel column, you don't have a choice on that. They're going to credit you for that more than likely. And the wireless charging, if you if you got that, um, I don't think that's going to hold up your truck. I think they're going to go ahead and ship your truck. But because a lot of you guys have been talking about your truck is already built and it's, it's sitting. You got your completion email and you went through all the stuff I went through with the completed order uh, and it's finished. You just haven't gotten your ship yet because it's sitting in a loading dock a few hours from your house or a few hours from the dealer, which is really unfortunate. Um, but a lot of you guys are frustrated and I totally get it. Now, obviously my situation is a little bit different. You, a lot of you guys are buying new trucks. So you placed a special order. Technically, I placed a special order too. I just had those helping hands in there because of my situation. Thank God. Uh, and then also I didn't get hit with that price increase. So I'm wondering if some of you guys are gonna get hit with the price increase uh, depending on your status of what you ordered. The AT4s, a lot of people said they order AT4s, and um, a lot of people have elevations uh, because the elevation is kind of the, the, the SLTs and the, the, the Sierra 1500 period, no matter what trim you get, it is the most popular that GM is selling. So um, I'm curious to see, tell me down below if you ordered a truck, let's recap here for a second. If you ordered a brand new 2023 model or a 2022 model and your yours says, Tell me the status of your truck, I'll say. Tell me the status of yours, because there's a lot of people out there that said, hey, Jay, you know, mine is built already. It's been built for two months, or it got built just a week ago. One guy said his got built and finished at the same time as mine, but now his dealer's telling him he doesn't know when it's going to arrive because they haven't invoiced his yet. Folks, I want to tell you something. When you order a truck, you have to, they have to invoice it. For, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but um, you have to, they have to invoice it to the dealer so that then the dealer can do whatever they need. I, I purchased back in the day, I ordered a car and it was about five hours away. And I told the dealer, they see if you can help me get this thing with, with, a, with a price, get an invoice, and then I authorize you to just go get it for me. And that's what they did. They said, hey, the only thing we can do is have some, we won't send someone to get it. What we'll have someone do is we'll have someone drive one of our other vehicles up and then they'll go get yours and bring yours back. And this is going to add four or 500 miles to your car or something like that or three or whatever it was. I said, I don't care because I saw it when it was sitting over there and they, they sent me verification and everything. It had, it had like four miles on it. When they got back, it had like 290 miles or 380 miles, something like that. And I was okay with that. It just helped me get to my break-in period sooner on my wide body <laughs> challenger charger. But I didn't care at the moment. But, you know, nonetheless, it was a challenger. Uh, but... um I think it was, no, it was a scat pack charger is what it was, but I didn't care at the moment for that, you know, Sam, but a lot of you guys are um, really getting frustrated with GM and now new people coming in actually have to pay an even bigger, steeper price because of the price increase again. So I believe that the reason that they're charging so much more now for these vehicles is because people are not wanting to pay that subscription. Um, they're, they're, they're the ones that they can get out and get pushed through the line are eating up that they're paying for the people who are, whose vehicles are just sitting and they're not making sales. The chip shortage, they're just ma basically making up for it. Now, like I said, um, for me, my new one that's coming in, it'll be here in a week or so at the recording of this video. Um, it is definitely on the way I saw the invoice. It's obviously it's a different situation for me, but still I fall into that bracket because I saw my price dip a little bit. It's now just right at around 67 or something like that. And so that means to me, they gave me a credit for something more than likely. And I will show you my my uh, window sticker and everything invoice and everything once I get it in. Um, but I'm pretty sure I lost something. And I'm wondering if it's gonna be wireless charging. I know it's gonna be the steering wheel column lock probably, wireless charging. I'm hoping that it's nothing major. I'm hoping that it's nothing, something that I really wanted. Uh, but. I know the price changed by between 500 and 1,000 bucks, I believe, 
or between two and eight hundred dollars it changed so i don't know what it's missing if it's missing anything at all because if they could just sold it to me at a lower price whoop de do that that'd be incredible uh, you know but uh from the 22 to the 23 that i bought in that short period of time of six months uh, or five four, four or five months it got two increases uh so now this is the third increase since my situation started since i got my truck in june so three increases from June to December 5th is incredible, folks. That is a lot, and these are some, that's a big jump in price, and I know because I know how much my current truck costs that's sitting out there now, and I know how much the 23 costs. Does this deter you from buying the truck? Because I've been getting a lot of questions about switching to a V8 and uh, the eight-speed transmission. They're 10 speeds, folks. They're, it's the new 10 speed with overdrive and everything, so um, the truck, I found like one or two people that actually have the the new 5.3 and the 23 or whatever, and they are just blown away at how beautiful it shifts now. Because this person actually went from a 8-speed, the older 8-speed transmission, to the new 10-speed transmission. So he was pretty excited about it. For me, I already know what the 10-speed transmission feels like because I have it in the Duramax, and it is absolutely great. I just want to know if I'm going to feel any difference in power because I'm going to a V8. So um, that's going to be something that I'm pretty ecstatic about not paying at the pump. Another thing is fuel economy differences. I want to get out of here before I, before I talk about this before I get out of here. Some people feel like I'm really going to miss out on fuel economy. Well, just do a really brief math of your own. Where I live at, regular fuel, because I can put 87 in that truck. Regular fuel where I live at, the lowest price I've seen is $2.30. Okay? The truck, the last time I filled up, it was almost $5 a gallon. It cost me roughly a little over a hundred bucks or something like that um because i've been i haven't been waiting until it's gotten empty i've been filling up at a quarter tank and it's still costing me like 90 bucks which means it's still going to cost me over a hundred bucks it's like 97 to nine just under 100 bucks so that means it's going to cost me over a hundred bucks to fill this truck up the diesel prices here have been between 450 and 550 where i live at the regular fuel has been between two dollars and thirty cents to 265 I'm saving $2 at the pump. Some people feel like I'm gonna get poor gas mileage and it's not gonna to compare to the diesel. Well, you're right. Of course it's not gonna to compare to this Duramax inline six, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get poor gas mileage because I'm paying. I'm not paying at the pump. So I saw this one guy's video doing an analogy of both engines saying that the Duramax is the overall better and it's better, you save more money. I don't believe that to be true because this person had the fuel economy for the regular fuel skyrocketed and saying that that's how it is across the board, and that's not it. He was saying regular fuel is $4.15 instead of saying where I live is four fifteen for regular fuel. Um, and I don't know if he was selecting premium or whatever, but where I live, the premium fuel is like almost, it's all pretty much almost a dollar less than the diesel fuel. So even if I had to put premium fuel, it still wouldn't be, I'd save a dollar at the pump, you know what I'm saying, per gallon. So. Being able to put in um, two thirds gas for two dollars and thirty cents, and let's just say, because my plan was to put in um, uh, mid grade uh, or premium sometimes, but you know the the when you check the people like in the, the deals like the mechanics like you don't have to you don't have to do that man just put regular fuel in your car and you'll really save because you're, if you're not going to be trying to tow anything or anything like you're not doing anything that's going to need all that power don't put premium don't put um, mid grade I normally put premium in cars even if they don't require it. But I'm not going to do that right now because the, excuse me, the prices are just way too high. So my thoughts are as followed. I'm saving at the pump. I'm happy to go back to a V8. Uh, I'm not thinking about, oh, I might have this problem. I'm not thinking about any of that because I wasn't thinking about that when I bought that truck. It just happened to do this. Uh, having problems with the injectors and the exhaust and the fuel management system in that truck and electrical. There's a lot of things going on in that truck, so obviously something's wrong with it. But this new truck that's coming in, I'm not saying it's not going to have problems, but I don't live life like that. I'm not going, oh, what if, what if, what if? That's just not my style at all. Um, but I can tell you one thing. Um, I'm saving at the pump besides having this diesel. Because this diesel, I know I'm going to spend at least $100 at the pump. I'm going to be spending pretty much half of that at the pump now with the V8 engine. Simply put. So all of you guys who place an order um, for a 22 or a 23 and you're still waiting, what options did you get? Did you get anything fancy? Or I mean, because on the 23 that I have, I, you know, I, I, I'm not going to compare myself to your order because I know that my order is a unique situation. And if I wasn't in this situation, it wouldn't have come as fast. It wouldn't have gotten rushed like that. So 
Um, but if you guys did order a 22 or a 23, what options did you get? What model did you, did you get an 84? Did you get an elevation with this package? Did, what did you get? Did you try to get the Multiflex tailgate? Did you want wireless? What did you get? Did you get the leather package? Did you get the HD surround uh, cameras? Did you get the Bose system? What did you get? And, and what are you being told as to why your order is delayed? Other than the dealer saying, oh, they haven't invoiced it yet. Because that's a horrible excuse to give you guys. Um, but it's true. And the people who are going through that, I feel for them. And I really pray that they get their truck faster. Because it's not right. They, they need a vehicle. And one gentleman I was talking to, he was like, man, I think I'm just going to keep it. I had to buy another truck until then. I told him, I said, keep it. It's in one of the comments of another video. I said, dude, just keep the truck. You've already customized the truck, too. He's he's customized it already, and he loves it, and it's got all the options that he wants. I think his current truck coming in as 23 might not have all the options. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, and it costs 70 plus thousand because I think he got an AT4 or a Denali or something like that. So another video on the 23 Duramax and the price increase. What are you guys waiting for on your new vehicle that's coming in? What'd you get? It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.